ليكن يومك للشعب ودادا ليكن حبك للأرض مدا للأرض مدا قلم أن brought him to one corner now فقتله that was how Khidir brought out his sword and cut off the boy's head Musa saw this he said أقوطت نفسا زكية تمغير نفسا لقريت شيء أن نكره how can you kill an innocent soul that not do anything. You have committed evil. Khidr hmm. said, Ana ma'akul laka, inna ka lanta stati ma'ana sabara, abana told you that you're not going to be patient with me. Ah, Musa now replied Khidr, right? Kala, in sa'autuka an shay'in ba'daha, fala tu sahibni, qad balakta min ladunni uzra. Allahumma fa'ana bima allamtana, this is the continuation of the story of Musa and Khidr from the stories of from Surah Al-Kaf. Now, in continuation, Musa alayhi salam, he made his first challenge on Khidr. After he saw Khidr destroying the boats that they are embarking on the journey with. Then he kept going. Khidr said, Alam akul inna ka lanta stahim ala sabra? Have I not told you that you are not going to be patient with me? Then Musa said, La tu akhidni iman asit wa la tu rikni min amri usra. I forgot. I really forgot. And you cannot hold me on to what I forget. I'm never going to question you again. Fantalaka hatta iza laki ya gulaman. That is how they were going. As they were going, Khidr enticed the young boy playing with other kids. As he enticed the boy, he enticed him and he brought him to one corner. Now, فَقَتَلَهُ That was how Khidr brought out his sword and cut off the boy's head. <sighs> Musa saw this. He said, أَقَوْتَتَ نَفْسًا زَكِيَةَ مِغَيْرِ نَفْسٍ لَقَرِيْتَ شَيْءًا نُكْرَى How can you kill an innocent soul that did not do anything? You have committed evil. Khidr said, Ana ma'akul laka, inna ka lanta stati ma'ana sabara, abana tu'ila you're not going to be patient with me. Ah, Musa now replied Khidr, right? Kala, in sa'autuka an shay'in ba'daha, fala tu sahibni, qad balakta min ladunni uzra. See, if I ask you any question again, if I challenge you again, then just do it with me. Yes, just do it with me. No problem. I made another mistake, second mistake. فَانْتَلَقَ حَتَّى إِذَا أَتَيَا أَهْلَ قَرْيَةٍ اسْتَطَعَمَا أَهْلَهَا فَعَجْلَ فِيهَا جِدَارًا يُرِيدُ أَنْ يَقَضَ فَعَقَامًا قَالَ لَشِتَ لَتَّقَسْتَ عَلَيْهِ أَجْرًا That was how they got to a particular town. When they got to the town, people in that town, they are tyrants. They are tyrants, they ask for water, they do not offer them. They ask for food, they do not offer them. And there is fatigue all over Musa and Khidr. Now, let us rest. Rest in under a shade. That was how Khidr cited a particular wall that is about about to, you know, collapse. Khidr said, Musa, stand up. We have work to do. What work? Let us erect that wall. Uh -uh. How is that possible? We came to this town full of tyrants. They know of our water or food. Are you asking us to help them erect this wall? Hmm. Then, Khidr, they started, they started, you know, erecting that wall. They started erecting that wall. So Musa just com Musa complained. As Musa was complaining, then Khidr told Musa that this is the end between myself and you. I'm going to reveal to you all those things that you are not patient about. I'll, re I'll reveal them to you. Now, Khidr started. Amma Safina, you see that ship, that boat that we are carrying? Fakarat li masakina ya'mana fil bahar. It belongs to two poor guys walking at the seaside. Now, and Faratu wa na'ibahuma wa kara wa rahum. I had to destroy it a little bit, disfigure it a little bit. Why? Wa kara wa ra'ahum malukun. There is a particular tyrant king at the particular place we are going to pass in our, on our journey. 
ياخذ كل سفينه غصبا he used to take any boat that he sees that is beautiful so i need to put a kind of defect in it so that the king is not going to is not going to seize it and truly when they got to that place to the end of their journey with the sea the guards of the king they started picking up all the beautiful boats but because that one had defect they did not touch it then they returned it back to the owners now wa amma al-ghulam that boy that i killed fa kana abawahu mu'minayni his parents are righteous people fa khashina an yurhiqu an yurhiqu wa kufra we are scared that this boy when he grow up is going to grow up to be a corrupt person and out of the corrupt practices he end up corrupting his parents as well and it's going to affect their fate and allah has also revealed that he is going to give them another child so immediately that child was killed the parents the mother of that boy is pregnant with another child and that child is going to turn out to be a righteous child that was what happened then the third one fa amma al jidar you see that wall i was asking us to erect fa kana al ghulamain yasiman fi al madina it belongs to two orphans small boys small orphans fi al madina in this city now wa kana tahta wa kanzu lahuma and underneath this wall there are treasures that their father kept for them and this city this town is full of tyrants whenever they see it they cite it they are going to embezzle the wealth and those child they won't have anything to hold on to when they grow up now wa kana abuhuma salihan and the reason why allah is protecting those children is because their father was a righteous man was a good man so if you are good allah is definitely going to protect your children even if you are not alive this is another lesson from surah al-kahf wa kana abuhuma salihan their father is a righteous man فَرَضَ رَبُّكَ أَنْ يَبْلُغَ أَشُدَّهُمَا وَاسْتَخْرِجَ كَنْزَهُمَا رَحْمَةً مِنْ رَبِّكَ وَمَا فَعَلْتُ وَأَنَا أَمْرِي ذَلِكَ تَأْوِيلُ مَا لَمْ تَسْتَطِعْ عَلَيْهِ صَبْرًا then allah wants these children to grow up as they grow up you know they are going to have the capacity to remove these treasures when they remove the treasures then this is the mercy from allah to them ذَلِكَ تَأْوِيلُ مَا لَمْ تَسْتَطِعْ عَلَيْهِ صَبْرًا all these things are this are what you are not patient about And what Khidr said to Musa alayhi salam is wama fa'altuhu an amri all these things i have done i did not do them out of my own will allah commanded me to do it so this is the reason behind the three incidents that happened on the journey of Musa and Khidr and there is a great lesson to learn from it Musa alayhi salam he thought he knows everything and Khidr allah make sure allah, allah testify that no you don't know everything there is another person one of our servants who has more knowledge than you and upon that knowledge that he had than if than the prophet of allah khidir said wama fa'altuhu an amri all these things is not by my knowledge is not by my power allah was the one who commanded me even with that kind of knowledge he had he still refused to that what allah was the one who gave him that knowledge he wasn't boastful about it so that is the trial of knowledge between musa and khidir one of the stories from surah al-kahf the lesson to learn from surah al-kahf may allah uh you know make us knowledgeable and also this teaches us the value of knowledge and also teaches us the hierarchy between a teacher and a student and also for us to be patient whenever we are acquiring knowledge aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfiru wa lakum السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته من بالبذل سواك قدر ما كان من منجم ولكن نحن لولاك لما شفت اتحاد